think the idea that we're all interested in is the possibility of a community slash mastermind slash group of entrepreneurs who care about business and God. Um, I want to be really clear that when we say God or spirit, it is not like we're Christ worshipers or Krishna worshipers. There, This is the furthest thing from a religion. And I think it's a very triggering word that people start to think like cults are formed around and it's really weird. And that is not at all what it is. To me, God is just the connection to life. And and that's a very simple way of wrapping up an infinite, uh, ineffable word mm -hmm. that we can or try. Or light to... or source or any other name. Any, but... Anything. So if well, you like maybe. Jesus, sweet. If you like Buddha, sweet. Mm -hmm. If you like Krishna. If I'm you an like atheist. Nature. If you're an atheist, <laughs> sweet. I, <laughs> I think that that's, that's great too. We're, we're all uh, accepting and welcoming. I, I think um, to me, and, I, and I'll give everybody a chance, the, the whole spirituality aspect of this is just connecting with people who are like-minded and, and enjoy these things. So it, there's obviously much more to that, but I'll continue. So I built a little uh, mind map. I want to give everybody a chance to just add what is most inspiring to you about the possibility of this group. So you should be able to come here, click here, and then write in whatever feels good. So I thought we would just take five minutes to do that and then we can review it all together and maybe read through whatever we put. Um, this will just be like, there's two sections. There's God slash spirit and agency slash business. I divided them because these are two pretty polar opposites, even though they are wildly interconnected. Um, any thoughts on that before we roll into this little five minute uh it just blew my mind. I never used this feature before. This is the first time using it. I'm like, whoa. Can can everybody click into it? And is everybody able to? Oh wait, here we go. For yeah, it worked for me. I I use Miro in my business, so I'm pretty familiar. But but I haven't known that it's possible to integrate it so deep in Zoom. So fascinating. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, uh, let's roll. You can use stickies. You can use the mind map, whatever you want to just put in. You can just write text. It doesn't matter. It's just brain dump whatever feels good to you. This is as new to me as it is to everyone. So let's do it. We go. I'm heavily on the right side. So mm -hmm. that's just me. Oops. Where's everyone calling from, by the way? New Jersey. New Jersey. Germany. Nice. nice. I'm, I'm in Poland. Canada. So we got Poland, America, Germany, and UK. Mm -hmm. We got like basically the United Nations here. <laughs> Fucking amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a timer, by the way? We are two minutes in.
Hello, Juan Blanco. Is that the Juan Blanco that I think it is? The one that I know from from yes, Panama? Yeah. Oh, dude, what is up? It's so cool you? seeing somebody I know in the physical realm joining a Zoom call. <laughs> Good to see you too, man. Where are you? Um, I'm in New Jersey. So, dude, I'll fill you in real quick so you can hop in. You kind of you're a little bit late, but there's a little white there's a whiteboard, and if you're on your laptop, you should be able to see it. We're just brain dumping ideas around what this group could look like. There's two sides. There's an agency slash business side. Then there's a God slash spirit side. So if you want to add in whatever is of interest to you and feels good to you, there's like a minute left. Uh, this is just like a five minute quick exercise. Okay, cool. Sounds good. Yeah. Otherwise you can just chill and tune in. Okay, 30 seconds, and then we'll wrap it up. Just delete the, um, the little square thing. Okay. Um, so... Let's pause here. Michael, do you want to go first and just read through some of the things that are most interesting to you? And then we'll all have a chance to share for a minute or two. Yeah, sure. So I think shared experience is key. Feedback as well. I think there's there's lots of value in sharing the struggles, the trials and tribulations. Can I, can I zoom in here? Yeah, if you'd like to, go for it. Yeah, uh, yeah. You should be able to use the mouse wheel. Yeah. And then you hold space bar to grab the little hand yeah. and move the whiteboard around. Creative empowerment. I mean, that always sounds good. Accountability. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. A business and spirit retreat. That one was me. Did you also write that one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah, I, I think as well, hearing about realizations, okay. what others are experiencing. Okay. And this one here. Topics around high levels of consciousness and, and deeper connections. Okay, cool. Yeah. Love it. Um. TJ, did you want to go through yours and and or yeah. others that interest you? Yeah, sure. Uh, so I basically copy and paste it from my other client, uh, who is kind of like the same thing. Uh, okay. So basically, the biggest one is Kiritsu, which is the Japanese philosophy of preferring of a network of interconnected businesses that maintain close relationships and often holds equity stakes in one another. That's not going to. That's not the point. But the main point is that working together, co-creation, co-collaborating. And so then comes the creative empowerment because we are all creating together. So we're all feeding ideas off of one another. And therefore, we're all um, basically creating uh, things bigger than us. And so the other one is cultural in the spirit side of things is cultural and spiritual symbiosis. So culture and spirit goes hand in hand uh, because without the spirit, you don't have culture. And without culture, you, you can't have spirit. So yeah, this basically goes... I'm repeating myself here, but hand in hand. Um, that's all I got. That's that's my brain is drawing a blank here. Um, but yeah, there's some really great uh, points here that others have made, and I'll pass it off to uh, Fabian. 
you're up, my friend. Nice. That was great. Amazing. I love that, by the way. I hope everybody can understand me very well. Yeah. Um, amazing. So I wrote on the on the spiritual side and the kind of in the middle with the agent with the agency or the business side. Um, I would like to be with people who can bring clarity to, uh, let's say, the feelings I have and the ideas and thoughts, um, and who can kind of have like a feel deep into other people, like you know, where it's like not just like some ah, you know, just add a third card bump or something, but who can you know like decrypt yourself sometimes and um, yeah, to, to, that they also can feel within themselves what the other person can mean. So it's like a really genuine and deep conversation and um not just a word or not just a word understanding but deeper within um that's that's one thing i wrote um and i would like to kind of also have help or um on the agency side or on, on the on the side of my on my journey so to just build a business that's unique and perfect to the person operating it and not just some advice that everybody already knows um yeah i think yeah. that were the main points and of course, also advice from Taida talking about books. Um, I think that would be really, really cool. Cool. Uh, pass the baton. Tomek, your okay. turn, mate. <laughs> okay, let's go. So yeah, I added about this uh, exchange services because sometimes, sometimes it's this possibility that we are skilled in something and other person it's skilled in something else so it's great with like-minded people uh of course sometimes it's feedback for when we have some ideas and to have this external view but not like i don't know if you experience but in many business masterminds it's like the people leading this they cut and just simple advice like rise a price you have to <laughs> uh to know okay you need to all, always be closing etc but yeah the life it's like more complicated and 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 i i believe that it's sometimes sometimes more deeper and yeah i, I expect in the community like 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 here and also I added the content together that maybe something will be possible to 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 create and like good energy between us, like podcasts, like webinars, something like this, like something on YouTube that I always wanted to create something, but not alone, something in good why vibe <laughs> talking with someone, maybe something like this can 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 burn and accountability with practice, spiritual practice. Because uh, as as I when I talk with Tyler, I, I long term follower of David Hawkins, and I had time that I released emotion every day in the one hour in the morning and later, and even I had time that I locked myself in the room for a few days. I keep releasing emotion. I read the books and keep releasing, but when I left the room, I felt like flying through the town. It was so amazing experience, but it's. It's 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 even I experience something like this life sometimes <laughs> catch down and it will be great to 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 see other people that are doing something like this and see okay it's still still working in what it what is accident so accountability that we see each other that we are keep going with this because in our modern Western world it's super hard sharing experience on something like I said said uh, before. So talking about this, not forgetting what I experienced, I think it also making this stronger for me. And it's also showing other people that it's something uh, something possible. I also joined Vipassana meditation in Thailand for one week. So maybe, maybe you have some similar experience. So it would be great to exchange this and have this with this context of business. And also I added this practicing new skills because I'm doing the certifications emotion code. Uh, I thinking to, 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 to start this group releasing emotions uh, like meditations. So it'd be great to also to always start with something like this in the safe environment because I, uh, I in the previous years, I was also improv teacher and I started also in the safe environment and later it was great also experience for me that i'm able now to to speak 
in public. I organize my meetups about LinkedIn, etc. in Poland. So, so I think we have great, uh, great potential here. And I think it's it's all. Um, I didn't add retreats, but it will be amazing. I think Which I don't know. Mean? Somehow I have this feeling that it should happen in Canary Islands. I think friends from Europe <laughs> uh, know this vibe, but I don't somehow in the islands and also I joined this Vipassana on Thai uh, island. In islands, I feel like different energy that we are far from the big cities and worries. I don't know. Some, I feel this somehow. We'll see what will happen. And maybe at Central America, I was also in Panama, but I didn't feel so well in Panama. I prefer Colombia. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> cool, dude. Do you want to pass the baton? I haven't gone also. Who didn't? Uh, who I haven't talked? Uh, uh, me, Terrell, and Juan. Okay, so maybe Juan. Hey, so I didn't put anything in. Um, Juan, where's your picture? So Sorry, what? Where's your photo? He's asking to see your face. Ah, yeah, <laughs> I don't have a picture right now. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Um, yeah, but I would really like to to be able to co-create with like-minded people and also uh, share some knowledge about right now I'm um, uh, really getting into spirituality and meditation. And I've uh, had a, some profound changes in my life coming from this. And I would really like to be able to share uh, and keep accountable with people who can influence me on a on on a good way you know cool i i want to just i'll just nominate myself mm -hmm. thank you for passing the baton to me because i had something come up while you were sharing what you were sharing um so for me i i, I don't know if everybody knows this or not i recently went through an exit with my agency i'm an inactive partner in that company and a minor stakeholder now even though i still occasionally chime in here and there but i have a free calendar and i just I, I have like all the time in the world and I've been praying to be able to be of service to mankind. Um, and this is something that I feel is where I can be of service. All this experience of running and scaling an agency over the last nearly 10 years kind of has gone out the window and there's a part of me that doesn't want to come back to it, but I recognize there's so many people who could benefit from the experience that I have. And I would love to help and for me, that's one of the biggest joys is just helping and being of service. So um, for me, that's one of the biggest benefits of this group is helping anyone who's interested in the the business stuff that I can be of service to. And the second aspect is spirituality. I would, see, I would say just connecting to God as deeply as I possibly can is the primary focus that I have and is the primary initiative with Satori School, which is a nonprofit that I'm pouring all my energy into. Um, so I love what Juan said about, you know, if, if I go through a powerful experience and I, you know, there's, there's not many people in my life who I feel like I would want to share it with, but if there's a group where we have a space where the, these shares could happen, that would be super special. Um, and, and maybe these groups, this, this has like a dedicated call or it's maybe once a month. I don't know what the cadence looks like or the structure, but it would be super cool to have a group, uh, where these shares could happen and also, we're talking to other people that are entrepreneurs and highly intelligent beings, which is so cool. So it's a kind of a mix. Um, for me, that's my uh, benefits and what I am most interested in. Terrell, I know you joined late. Hello, friend. Um, but okay, we were just good. talking about what's most exciting to us. So if you want to just take a minute to share, uh, that'd be great. Yeah. Um, agency stuff. I've been doing agency stuff for a while. Um, so that's important business and uh, AI. I'm very into AI. So I'm a software developer and a marketer. And so I've used AI throughout my career in tons of ways and helped make tons of money for a couple of companies. So um, yeah, Taylor, uh, you had some crazy great content on the agency side over the years. And um, so I'm happy to happy to be here. Oh, that's exciting. Cool. Okay, awesome. Well, um, with that being said, cool. It seems like there's a wide range of interests and in various different things. The second thing I wanted to go over with everybody, and you guys can interrupt me at any point. I'm I put the leader hat on for myself, but if someone wants to just interrupt and say, we should talk about this, please do so. It's not like I'm 
the one uh, who has control over everybody. So I wanted to just go over what everybody cares about most. So below, you're going to see two little boxes, one that has an agency business side and one that has a God slash spirit box. I thought it'd be cool if we each got three sticky notes. It's an odd number, which means that you have to place your sticky notes into one of the boxes. So you're going to have to vote 66% on one side, which shows what you're most or more interested in. This is just to get a gauge for what we are like most interested in about the group, whether it's business or spirituality slash God slash connection. Um, so let's all do that. And looks like <laughs> nice. So you each get three sticky notes. So make sure you I found the trick. You just have to uh, make it bigger. <laughs> <laughs> so so how how are we? So placing? you you have three sticky notes, and you need yeah. to place either all three on one side or two on one side and one on the okay. other side, just to get an idea on what we're most interested in. This is just like a vote or a tally to see who is most interested in, in what. I'm just curious to know whether we're 90% here for business growth or, you know, um, it's cute. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people. So there should be seven, 14, 21 stickies total so did everybody put three in total three in three in three in three in yep. juan are you on mine. a computer can you even partake in this no no no, no. i'm on I'm on my ipad that's why okay so you can't partake in this no but i, I yeah, think yeah. you could partake in it bro i'm on my yeah. phone i am i am right now uh writing down uh on the right corner on okay, the cool. spirit side. Okay. Fabian, did you just put one giant sticky note representing three? Uh no, I put one big one on the right side and two little ones on the on the on the left side. So okay. uh, you know God is bigger than uh, than the agency. So uh okay. that's the trick. Well maybe maybe the the sticky note analogy or structure of this is not the best because it seems like we're far from 21, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, okay. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. It looks pretty much 50 50 at this point. So we can just settle with that. All right. Okay. I think we're pretty much 50 50, maybe a little bit more leaning towards the business side in terms of interest based on this current group. Okay. Um, before we go any further, did anyone have anything to add that's on their heart that they want to just call out or discuss? There's only two more little exercises I have, so we have we have time to have an open discussion. If not, I wanted to add that it's like my voting today that I put at two cards for the business and one for the spirituality is for today. Okay. That I have this. <laughs> that's great. That I I need more clarity in my business and like this lack yeah. of the clarity. It's, it's forever like changing. Long, yeah. It's like for longer time and spiritual okay. is more, more, more attracting for me. But it's that feeling that, uh, yeah, that with business that, that that there is some issues and it's like more screaming problem <laughs> to to sort out this part of the business, the part of life. Yeah. But yeah, just Got I it. wanted to add this context that. Yeah, for this perspective, I should uh, look only for business solutions. But yeah, I don't feel the pure business solutions. I tried a lot that it's even I didn't uh, even feel that, for example, a business coach could could help me because I always felt that that person don't have enough experience. So just wanted to add this context that maybe that will change for me that more the spirituality side when I find well, I will find that more clarity. Uh, and less overwhelmed about many things I do. Got it. Okay. Sounds good. I think good. for me, if I could add something, it yeah. would be that uh, if we would, I don't know if it's one call a week, which also would be fine for me. Um, obviously, it's going to be one a month. But if we could, you know, if it's like, if somebody sees, you know, like 
he has something that he wants to add, for example, that it's like, you know, you could then just also split up later and you have a longer conversation or something so that it's like, you know, we, we each take each other kind of like a bit like, like family or something, something in a way, you know, that we try to take deep care of each other and try to help everybody and not just put some idea or mask of what we have on the other person, but that it's really like this genuine advice and it's what's best for the other person. And, and, and that's what I like. That's why Tyler stuck out, stuck out to me for me because he like, he doesn't need to do it. He does something very important for humanity, like uh, Satori school, for example. And it just makes so much sense to have, I think somebody who is so deeply connected and who fulfills completely his, who, you know, I just feel that it makes on a deep level, just so much sense between the words. It, it's just, it's, it feels so great. You know, he's like, yeah, it's great. Well, thank you for hyping me up. I appreciate that. That's, that feels, <laughs> feels great. I appreciate it. Um, I wanted to talk about structure. Uh, if everybody can just take 30 seconds, we'll, we'll try to get through this quick because there's many of us to talk about what is on the top of their minds for the structure. That would be great. I think we can just speak it out. So I'll, I'll go first. Um, the structure that I think is a good MVP solution is a call a week um, at a universal time that everybody can make. This is personally what I'm willing to commit to is a call a week. And that call could be, let's say, for an hour. Um, and then anything else is kind of secondary to whatever feels right. If somebody wants to host a meditation meeting on a random Tuesday, sweet. I'm down to come in maybe in Zoom and meditate because I do that anyways. Um, but I'm willing to commit to just meeting up once a week. As to what the structure for that meeting looks like, I'm not 100% sure. Um, I do also want to recognize, so I'm going to go over 30 seconds. Sorry, everybody. I do want to recognize something that is is very top of mind for me being the person who is on YouTube and has a platform and is calling the people in, I don't really want to be seen as this nexus point of everybody's here because of this one person. It's like the last thing that I want this group to be about. Um, I think the goal in anybody building anything is for it to outgrow whoever the creation or person who started it was, or the yolk of the egg, so to speak. Um, but I, I do recognize that I have a lot of experience in business. And there's probably going to be a lot of people who want to come into this to talk to me about certain things because of the experience that I have. That's great. Um, but what I'm willing to commit to is an hour a week where I can just answer any questions about anything related to business. Anything else could be secondary and I'm open to discuss it. I would love to do a meditation once in a while. I'd love to hop on a call and talk about realizations once a month. Also that that comes up for me. So these are, that's me. I'll pass baton to Michael. Sure. Yeah. So, so what are my thoughts on, Just on the of structure of like this group when, when we yeah, meet yeah, yeah. cadence, whatever feels inspiring. Well, I think a couple of things that have been mentioned. One is I think a, a small group is good. I think shared authenticity is key. You know, the, the, the value of spirituality, I think it's, it's about getting really real with with what is and and not just kind of sugar coating or you know state pumping over the top of uh the everyday reality of running a business so mm -hmm. realness is is key i think uh, coaching from yourself would be great like strategies tactics troubleshoots uh meditations would be nice as well so yeah, just flexible, really. Cool. Love that. Um, pass baton, please. Whoever you choose. All right. Okay. Uh, uh, Ju Juan. Juan Blanco, that is you, sir. Hey, guys. <laughs> uh, so I, I really, um, resonate with what Taylor was saying it would be really cool to to be able to meet up and just talk about um practices of meditation and spirituality um because for me myself I don't have much people who I can talk about it or who I can learn about um 
their experience. Um, and from the business side, I put on pa partnerships because I would like to to be able to to partner up with different people in the group and and create new ideas or maybe help each other out as um, my friend was saying earlier. Cool, dude. Love it. Yo. Um, pass baton, please, if that's it. That was great. Yeah, I'll pass it. I'll pass it. A digital, non-physical baton. <laughs> I'll pass it. Who, who's who's left? Terrell, TJ. Um, I'll pass it to TJ. Tomek. Okay. Hey, thanks. Uh, so this could be a, a wee bit of a TED talk, but I think we're <laughs> now getting to a point where it's we're done with the whole hustle culture. Like during COVID, it was all hustle, hustle, hustle. And we learned that that was very detrimental to our mental health to always constantly be thinking about hustle, business, all these things. So now we're getting to a point where we want community, we want to have third places, we want to be able to connect with one another and build those relationships and rekindle basically our roots, get back to our roots of, of what it means to be us human. Because we didn't get it, like I wrote an article on LinkedIn and basically was saying that because of our systems, we've lost the connection to our communities. And by losing our, the connection to our communities, we've lost connections with ourselves and we're lying to ourselves thinking, oh, I can do this on my own. We fucking can we need groups, we need communities. So what I would love to see is co-creation, collaborations, talking about like being, being vulnerable with ourselves, be like, hey, I suck at marketing, I need help. I don't understand this. And somebody giving opportunity or like explaining uh, the learnings to one another in a holistic, meaningful manner without like, oh, you should have known this, bro. Like, I've I've been on Reddit for a long time and I've seen the toxicity that's on Reddit and some Facebook groups. Like that's why I don't I'm not on Facebook, uh, because of the toxicity. And also my brain or like my um community builder hat on now. Um it depends on like we have to figure out which platform is gonna be hosted on, whether it be Circle. I primarily build on Circle, which is a fantastic platform. Um but then there's also school, which is, in my humble opinion, school, it's great, but it's very hustle bro culture-ish. Um, and then, of course, there's uh, other communities like Discord, but Discord is very limited. It's more Gen Z millennials. But if you're trying to attract uh, the older generation, they're not going to fuck with this Discord. So, so uh, to me, in my personal opinion, uh, Circle, Circle is, going to, is probably going to be the most beneficial uh, to what you're what we're trying to do here and with that said i'll pass it off to terrell i resonate with that awesome i totally agree with the the human connection thing i think it's a huge problem and um i think communities are a great way to hopefully solve that um so i suppose structure um yeah one call a week would be awesome probably focus on business, a little bit of uh, the spirituality stuff that could be good. I kind of wrote out my thoughts just in case I uh, forgot them, but I suppose uh, I'll start with the easier one and then I'll get to the harder one, but the easier one is uh, number two. And so like, I've seen so many amazing people reap it, like tons of benefits from, you know, having, having a deeper connection with God and, and also meditating and, and doing a lot more stuff there. So for me, I've gotten pretty far and not, not focused on a lot of that, but um, I'm very open-minded and slowly want to transition into, into doing more of that stuff. So that's kind of that. And then um, highest priority, I, I do have my own business, a, a development agency. And um, unfortunately I, like I got into entrepreneurship to try to have more areas to basically have passion in my work. Um, when I was a software developer, really enjoyed certain parts of it during certain periods, but other parts, not so much. And I wanted more flexibility. So one of the things that I've noticed that I do enjoy a lot, and I've helped a lot of people is, is coaching, um, and, and mentorship and stuff like that. And, and, and I really enjoy it. So it's one of those things where I'm like, okay, well, 
how do I turn that into a business model? And I know Taylor, you've, you've done an amazing job of, of doing this in the past. I, I believe, I think. Um, so anyways, you, you're definitely someone I can, I can learn from. Love it. That was great. Yes. Could definitely help with that. Um, please throw the digital baton. I think Tomek is maybe the last one. Yeah. Tomek. Okay. So yeah, the weekly call, I think for the structure, per, it's, it's perfect. I think it would be great to start on the roundtable. What's going on in the life of every person? Uh, what's happened last week? What, what's the what's the challenges? And then because like pure Q&A, I think it would be no different than just asking, okay, how do you do LinkedIn outreach or something? I think we could lose the the bigger potential of this group and I, I i hope that will also work to communicate uh, on discord and somewhere else because sometimes in one hour it will be hard and i think would be great homework for us to to write a little bit about ourselves and and then to 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 comment and then maybe to expand this during the call or maybe to 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 record some voice note or loom because i think that could be hard to 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 join call for everyone, but maybe it will be possible to maybe someone will feel okay, guys. I need a call if someone has time. Can you jump in the two hours, for example? I think in group like this, it's it's possible that it will be <laughs> that will be available. Like uh, for the first Q and A with Tyler, I misclicked that I entered Discord of NJNC and Light, and I found okay. In two hours, will be call, and we started this this talk about creating this mastermind. So yeah, maybe maybe something some something like this that 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 I, I from my perspective, I really looking for deep, uh, and I really want to understand other people's situation uh, and to advise if I have something to advise. And also, I want to share big picture of of my situation when I ask for the for the help because in business communities memberships I I've seen it too much that to, that people just wanted to have business model and okay it was one hour goodbye <laughs> next week you can come and maybe continue the question here uh, I even thought about some hot seats. I'm not sure if that will be maybe we will find that that someone writes something about their uh, about uh, background situation, plans, goals, and we decide, okay, let's make one hour call for you and let's discuss, let's ask questions, let let let's let's brainstorm together to help each other. Not sure if it will be possible, but maybe, maybe we'll see. Okay, so maybe I'm the last. I'm not sure if Fabian uh, talk already. Yeah, I think I would agree to to Tomek. I think what would be also cool or key is to have like as as wrote in the discord like an intros or something so that we kind of i don't know if it would be a text or if it i don't know for me if 90 day goals would make sense but um if it would be like i don't know if everybody talks a half an hour about themselves so we understand like uh who is this other person really we heard him talk we feel into them and it's uh um yeah exactly like there mm. would be maybe some 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 ideas for example you have tyler um exactly like Pokemon cards or something where uh, we can just have fun and uh, understand each other really 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 well and um yeah yeah so to kind of feel the to, yeah. to just add to this 90 days goals something that I really excited about even I three months ago I started this like cohort for my LinkedIn course so I think it would be great to follow together this framework and to every quarter to to, to summarize and we can make like two hours workshop and end this with clear vision okay what we what we want to achieve it will be something amazing and also a specific call about productivity because I always struggle how to organize everything notion I think would be great and to to find this suited to us so perfect <laughs> cool love it I'm I'm in love with the way that this flow is going it's going great um, yeah i think it's it's important for us to first uh get to know each other right yeah 100 percent. you know to connect first date other. first date yeah yeah i love that i'm gonna write that down um i agree i think that we didn't do an intro on this call i i feel like i kind of wanted to just dive straight into this 
concept and if it sticks let's do the intros and actually meet each other deeper um, but there are really cool people on this call and everybody has very different backgrounds, which is one of the things that I am also really excited about in the group is just having access to people from all different skill sets and backgrounds. Um, so at some point we'll have to maybe go through a quick intro, but I just want to talk about one more thing, which is, well, two more things. This, this might be a two minute discussion. Is there any limitations on who can join the group? My personal answer is uh, no, I don't think there is. As long as you're interested in the concept of what the group is, I think it's fine. Everybody in agreement with that? Uh, not sure. Uh, I'm not sure if we could start with the closed group from the beginning because to create some intimacy and and yeah, I, I have this thing that maybe to, to start with, with the group and to get to know each other and to, to build something like MVP and then to scale to invite more people. I'm not sure. It's just this like top of the mind that if there will be like every week new people and asking about how to make more money because they found your old content about agency, that could be distraction. But <laughs> but I also don't want to limit this experience. So maybe just maybe maybe start with with closer group at the beginning and then to open maybe another cohorts or something just open questions cool okay no other thoughts on that all right tj uh yeah i was gonna say closed group is great um like everybody gets to know each other everybody gets to know their strengths uh one cool thing that we're doing in the other communities is that every single time somebody joins we get them to do this exercise which is called uh the fido so it's a it's it's in development but basically it goes flaky evil obnoxious dorky and we it's an <laughs> exercise like determining how you work and how you can work with others it's kind of like a myers brig or a, and then we also couple that with a human design chart so that way you really get to understand the full scope of the person um michael's looking at me as if i have aliens coming out of my ears but it's really cool it's a really cool <laughs> uh, concept here um but yeah, I'll get more information um, about it. But human design would be is key uh, to understanding oneself and others. I at first I was like, this is some this is some nonsense. But once I start to get really deep dived into it, it's like, oh, this makes sense. And then when you couple it with your Myers Briggs, it's kind of like you're building a little Lego building. Like you're laying all these bricks on top, and then eventually you have a full structure, and that's you. But yeah, it would be great if you post a workshop about this and I will, it would be great to, to join. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I agree. We... Go ahead. That no, is... you're up. Sorry. Okay. No, I was going to say, I think I, I really agree with what you said, TJ. I feel like some sort of assessment, we used all sorts of different assessments in, in Better AMS when we were scaling the agency and we found it was incredibly valuable for not only vetting who we were hiring, but who we were pairing up on certain accounts or certain teams and different things. So I agree with that. Um, this is a super important thing that I wanted to discuss. So cost free versus paid. When I considered the possibility of this group, now there's a little um, bar at the very bottom on the whiteboard you'll see. This was kind of a box where we could all put a sticky note that basically if you have a vote for free. If you have a vote for paid, if um, you can put it in this little box. I think I just want to express my personal feelings and sentiments on this section. Uh, you can do it right now if you want. But the original intention with this group um, was a place where we could come together and gather and talk about business and spirituality and connect in deeper ways. I felt that having some sort of financial commitment would be great so that there is a commitment. And at the same time, I don't want it to be a ridiculous, I've been in masterminds that are $3,000 a month and it's just like, okay, I, I think after the year and a half, we decided to leave because it's just a lot of money. Um, but I think the minimum number that came to my mind was $100 per month, something basic, but it's also not cheap to the point where you're going to look at it every month on your credit card and be like, yeah, I better make use of this thing or actually engage in this group so that I'm like participating in some way. Um, so I think some financial buy-in is important. That's my personal bias, but um, 
The second thing to this is that 100% of it would go towards a nonprofit, which is Satori School, which is 100% devoted to raising the consciousness of mankind. So that was just my original idea. We can all put in a little sticky note with a price range or a free, whatever aligns with you. Um, it'd be helpful if, 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 if you think paid to put a number, that'd be great because a hundred is just what came to my mind, um, as a nice minimum, but yeah. So let's all just put a little sticky note in. That'd be great. Okay, cool. Both. I pay for a lot of subscriptions and I don't know why. It has like a it's like a hard thing to would be a hard thing to do, but I would love to pay through effort, put it that way for time. <laughs> okay, I love that. Is uh, can you elaborate so maybe like a workshop once a month or something of that nature. Is that kind of what you're feeling like? Um, I, I suppose, um, it, it could be, uh, just helping people with whatever. Okay. I mean, I don't mind hopping on calls. I have a lot of experience with tons of areas. Okay. Got it. Noted. Um, free and paid. Can someone who wrote that elaborate on that? That's super interesting. Both. Yeah, so I've been thinking about this for a long, long time, um, how both uh, groups can benefit. So the free one would be like, you know, your funnel. Like you get everybody in, everybody knows, gets to know each other. Um, everybody is partaking in like, let's say the meditations, the human design, uh, the human wellness, the connections, and also the learnings that come through the group. Um, in my brain, I'm like thinking like circle structure and then, yeah. Um, and then for the paid it would be, that's where it comes into high level learning. It's like the, like the coaching calls and the, and the accountability and the group learning and the resources that are shared among us. And then also like share your work could either be in the free section or in the paid section. Um, cool. I think like both would be very beneficial to what we're trying to achieve here. Awesome. Got it. Um, well, this has been super helpful and I think that this is everything I wanted to go through. I think a lot has come out of this, which is great. And so I just want to open the floor. If anyone has thoughts or things they want to call out or bring up in this moment, that would be great. Otherwise, I think we're good to sort of wrap this up and let all of this information percolate and, uh, figure out a next checkpoint over the next couple of days. Uh, based on this call does anyone else have anything tj yeah i i do want to throw something out there uh everyone's so every community i work with i always do a community uh, dna which is basically a workshop that does a deep dive of what the community is about who the community is for and so this is about like a three-hour work session uh so we go over the attributes uh the personas everything so think of it as like a brand building workshop but for communities so Taylor, if you're interested in doing that, I can definitely host it. And everyone in this call and whoever wants to join, more the merrier. That'd be awesome. So yeah, just let me know whenever you guys want to do this because that okay. could really help. I'll reach out to you, dude, and maybe we'll try to connect in like a one-on-one -on -one and good. talk about it greater. Anybody else have anything? I mean, big thank you for hosting this, man. It's incredible. Oh. Yeah, thank you so thank much. You. That's great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. I think it would be great to, to think how we can introduce ourselves, should we write maybe something about ourselves in the Discord channel or maybe prepare for the next time. I don't know how, how do you feel. Maybe, maybe because, you know, I really believe also in this when we put effort in something that we care about it more. So maybe that if we if we spend this time to, to write about ourselves, our business, our, about spiritual experience, about what we want to achieve uh, maybe that could be something good 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 grand stone for this uh, from this group. 
Yeah. I think bios and like a baseball card slash Pokemon card um, would be really helpful and it would give everybody insights into sort of the deck that is the community, like a legendary deck of all mm -hmm. these different Pokemon um, and all these different levels. And that would be so cool, you know? So <laughs> uh, yeah, that sounds great. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a huge fan of the cards thing. We did it in better AMS and it was the best thing we ever did. Everybody got a little baseball card. So, um, okay, cool. Any other thoughts before we wrap up? I feel, I personally feel great. I think I want to just review everything and try to come up with a condensed idea for what the next meetup would look like or be like. I think the bios sounds like a great sort of next step and the only other thing would probably be the cost and then the um, actual group that we would be doing this in sort of some. I really think that um, in the intros setting the, like a 90 day goal, that will, that, that'll be a game changer because that pretty much says what everyone is looking to benefit from. And then I agree. help each other and stuff I'll, like that. I'll write that down. I like that a lot. Got it. Any other great last thoughts before we, Wrap this up. It was a good meeting, everyone. Yeah, this was great. Yeah, good stuff. Thanks, Taylor. Okay. Thank you. And <laughs> great to connect. Cool. And yeah, great to to stay with this feeling <laughs> that that we really are in good energy. Yeah. Well, I love you guys all so much. Thank you all for coming. And I'm stoked to connect deeper. And this was the most surface level it'll ever be. So it's cool to break through the ice a little bit and, and go deeper. You guys all added a lot of value. So thank you so much. And let's see where this uh, develops. I have no idea. <laughs> it's the journey that counts. Yeah. Amen. Okay. Let's well, do it, bro. Love you guys. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you all for ciao, joining us. We'll touch base in Discord. Ciao. Send you guys a big hug. Ciao, ciao. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.